as we head through the overnight, the flood risk increases peaking Thursday morning through the morning and into Thursday afternoon due to the deep heavy rain that we're expecting to fall across the area. So areas with flooding already in Hawkins County, the St. Clair community is seeing some flooding. According to the emergency management agency, there a flood advisory in effect for Hawkins County. Our reporter Angelique Aaron talk is out as well driving around the region. She reported some flooding on Cleek Road in Kingsport. That's a road that often floods around our region just due to the heavy rain. So expect that road to likely be closed by city officials as more rain comes in tonight and into tomorrow tomorrow morning. Here's future radar through the evening hours. Notice pockets of moderate rainfall at times, but the big stuff comes tomorrow morning as the front gets a little closer to us and we see what's known as training. Training basically is where the storms move over and over and over the same areas again and again and again, like trains along a train track. So as we go through the morning hours, we see that training of the showers and storms, and we could even see some storms, not rolling out some thunder and lightning through the overnight hours. Uh, and what I'm concerned about is the rainfall rate. These areas of orange and red on the map, where the rain will be coming down heavy enough on saturated ground that it will likely just run off, and that's where we're going to see our flooding threat develop. So all the way through the morning hours tomorrow, pockets of rain, especially after midnight through 8 a.m. Then we get a little break around lunch before another batch comes through in the afternoon finally tapering off towards the evening time frame. So here's how much rain is still to come. Yes, friends, one to two inches region wide looking likely as we go into the overnight and through the day on Thursday. Something to certainly keep your uh, mind open to the potential for flooding as a result of creeks and streams, poor drainage areas, high risk of flooding there. Not as high on the rivers, although we do expect to see some rises on the rivers as we go into the day on Friday. Friday evenings when the North Fork of the Holston near Gate City expected to crest at minor flood stage likely flooding some farmland around the river. And of course, the river will be flowing at a pretty good rate, so don't want to be playing around or getting too close to it uh, if you can't, don't have to. Clinch River above Taswell, also expected to crest midday Saturday. The Clinch at Spears Ferry and also the North Fork of the Holston in Saltville expected to reach action stage, which is that stage where the water's high enough to cause a few issues, but certainly not any major issues uh, like with the other stages. Here we go into Friday. Yeah, you notice some snow on there. And the same thing on Saturday, a couple chances for a little bit of precipitation to move in when we have the colder air around. So we'll be watching that for Friday and Saturday because we could see a light snow accumulation late Thursday into Friday, mainly in the higher elevations as some of that rain turns over to snow showers. Literally, most of the time, less than about an inch in most areas. We could see upwards of two to four inches on places towards white top and high knob there. So rain tonight and tomorrow. Temperatures in the 60s tomorrow. Tonight we drop down in the 30s. Just remember that flood threat increases through the overnight hours. Our storm tracker tour continues today, and one of the things the storm tracker allows us to do is go out in communities while the flooding is ongoing. Chief Meteorologist Dave Dirks is in Abingdon tonight, along with our other meteorologists, to talk about why you don't want to go into areas where there is flooding. Hey, the Storm Tracker Tour continues tonight live from Abingdon, Virginia at the Food City here, the new Food City. What a fabulous big store that is inside, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. First, Sydney Welch, meteorologist Sydney Welch, joining me. Um, I'm kind of wondering, we're by the Storm Track here. What in the world did you bring a yardstick for? We're not going to see that much rain, are we? Well, we're not quite going to see that much rain, but as the rain comes down, those low-lying spots, we have a few markers that right. we want to point out, the 6-inch, the 12-inch, 18 and 24. Notice that the 24 almost comes to the top of the tire. So if we pull graphics full, you can notice that six inches of rain, potentially fast moving, could knock a person off their feet and a car with a foot of rain. So do be careful. A car like this would need between a foot and 18 inches of rain Before. in order to sweep it away. So those low lying spots, just be careful and don't forget, turn around, don't drown. There you go. Good advice, Sydney. All right, thanks. Hey, let's go on down this way. Meteorologist David Boyd, how are you doing, my friend?